Hi, my name's Richard Duffy. Uh, many of you might know me from the various videos I've done uh, from my time as the SAP Business One Product Evangelist when I was working for SAP. Um, and of course, since then, uh, I've also been quite heavily involved with SAP Business One in a variety of different roles. But um, right now I'm talking to you in the context of what, what my company currently does, and that is we are an SAP Business One hosting provider. So we provide the SAP Business One cloud for a variety of partners and companies, um, users, customers, call them what you will, all over the world. And many of those customers, uh, many of those partners are all thinking at the moment about Business One on the web and how do they manage it effectively. So I think it's fair to say that this year, 2020, is gonna be the year of Business One on the web. Why is that? Well, you're probably already aware is that SAP have um, already launched version 10. It's in early adopter mode, and part of the value of version 10 is that it comes with its own web client. So that web client, as you know, uh, is built with the SAP technology, and it has a number of fairly significant restrictions still. Uh, and that is just the nature of working with web technologies. But in the context of that, what I wanted to do is talk with you about a new solution that I first saw a little bit over a year ago at the last SAP SMB Innovation Summit. And that is B1 Web uh, from Init Consulting in Germany and so what B1 web is it is in some respects it's like the the web client that SAP provide but it's a heck of a lot more so let's just start off with a quick demo and uh, as I go through this demo I also want you to remember that you have the opportunity to take a look uh, and meet with the team from init consulting at the SMB summit right now there's a good chance you might be watching this video and you're already in um, Palma in Spain. So you can obviously visit with the guys there and go along to their breakout session. I would highly, uh, I would highly encourage it because you're gonna get a lot more detail than I'm gonna give you in this video. But anyway, um, this, is, this is the solution. So it is a completely web-based version of SAP Business One. Uh, it is all built utilizing the service layer. So all the integration between the web-based front end and the back end utilizes the SAP Business One service layer for that integration. And of course, as you know, uh, with version 10, the service layer is in both HANA and SQL Server. So anyway, this is the main screen, this is the login. So let's get in, we could do a little quick demo. So I'm just gonna grab the, uh, the US demo data um, and I'm going to log in. So the beauty of this, of course, is that all you need to do is have access to a web browser um, and know the URL uh, where you can sign on. And what you will find is that it will take you straight in to the web client. So. The thing to bear in mind is it's not just a web client, but it's also a development environment. So you can develop additional screens uh, and additional functionality and have it render inside this environment as well. I'm not gonna go into the details of how you do that development. Talk to the guys there at the SMB Summit uh, and you will get to learn a lot more about it. But I just wanna quickly show you the environment. So you can see um, it is very much based on the, the, the experience that you get when you're working with standard SAP Business One. So you can see you start off with the dashboard uh, and then you have the functionality available to you. Now in the administration, you'll see you've got things like the form builder so again like I told you you can go ahead and you can modify the existing forms that come with the solution you can build your own forms and you can tie them into the SAP backend via the service layer but then you've got the traditional functionality that a lot of people are looking for which is give me a web client right out of the box that I can just use with standard SAP business one so the modules that are available right now uh, as you can see are CRM 
um, the sales order functionality, purchasing business partners inventory, and some of the project management functionality. So let's take a quick look. If I was to go to, uh, well, let's start off with business partners. So I come here to business partners and then I click on business partner master data and you'll see what happens uh, is it opens up into a lookup function per se. So I can come in here, I can click on the add button to add a new business partner or I can select one of the existing business partners simply with a, a single click on that business partner and it will bring up the business partner information. So you can see this is a vendor supplier record, it's Acme Associates. Those of you who are familiar with the, the standard sample data, this will not come as any surprise to you. And you'll see what the guys have done is they've tried to build the solution so that there is not too much of a difference in terms of the navigation between the full Business One client and the web client. So you can see you've got your contact persons, your addresses, uh, your payment terms, everything again is coming through from the service layer into the web client. You can, of course, see your account balance and you've got your golden arrows. So again, with one click, it pops up a new window. It allows you to then drill down and view into that information um, that makes up this particular account balance. And then, of course, with the golden arrows, another click and you can drill down into and look at the standard documents. All right, so one of the things you're gonna notice, notice here is that it is quick. Um, it's not uh, weighed down with what I believe is potentially one of the disadvantages of the SAP Business One, the standard SAP Business One web client that's part of version 10. It kind of looks pretty. Um, it's built using that Fiori UI, but many people I speak to find the whole Fiori UI quite intrusive. Um, it it kind of looks nice, but it, it gets in the way, rendering screens and, you know, and so on and so forth. It's nice because it looks like every other SAP product, but is that necessarily what customers want? My experience has been no, that's not. So I actually believe that this kind of layout um, is, is, is more user friendly. But I, I mean, you know what they say about opinions. Everyone has one and they all stink. Um, so again, this is just my opinion um, that I'm, I'm sharing with you. But, but I really like the way this works. A matter of fact, I like it so much that uh, we, are, we, are the, the, we are going to be the distributors for the product uh, in Asia Pacific. And it will become a standard part of what we offer to you know, our hundreds of customers that we're currently uh, delivering SAP Business One hosting or SAP Business One Cloud hosting for today. So again, quickly and easily, you can jump back into the menu. Uh, you can then simply switch back in. You can go in, let's dive in and create a sales order. And so now I'm in my sales order screen, same scenario. Uh, I can call up an existing sales order or I can simply come up here and click on new and create a new sales order. All right, so the beauty of this, uh, again, as I said, speed. Speed is critical. Um, this server that I'm accessing right now is, is located in Germany, um, but I'm sitting here, of course, in my desk in Australia doing this. So you can see I've got the ability to do my lookup, look up my customers, find the customer that I want. Let's pick our, uh, our good friends at Earthshaker Corporation. And you can see if you can utilize the standard SAP Business One screens right now, you can just pick this up and start working with it. Come down here into your items, you wanna add a new item. Very, very easy, you come down here to your items and you simply click to add a new line. You can type in the item code or you can click on it and drill down uh, and do a lookup for the item information. Pick my item that I want, there it is. It's a three terabyte hard drive. I've got one of those in stock now. If you're sitting there thinking, okay, well, hang on, what if I wanna add additional fields? If I want to add the warehouse field or, or I want to do a calculated field, again, remember, that is what you get up here. If you go into administration, you get the form builder and you will see all the different forms that are available, the standard forms that get delivered with the core product. And then of course, the forms that you can build yourself. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this quick look at, um, at the, the B1 Web Technologies web client. I think for many organizations, they're going to be, you know, looking at making a choice. Um, and 
you will find that, of course, there are people who will say, well, I just want the standard SAP, uh, I just want the standard SAP client, and that's great. And you know, for us as a partner, uh, as a SAP Business One Cloud hosting partner, we deliver the full SAP Business One client in a web browser, okay, utilizing our standard technology. Same thing as what um, other people do, like Cloudiax, for example, they deliver the same thing. So you can have it that way. Um, but I think one of the things we'll see more and more this year in particular is more customers asking for this kind of functionality. So I personally like the clean layout that we get with B1 Web Technologies Web Client, uh, but I encourage you meet with the guys, uh, have a deeper conversation um, and learn more about what the solution can do for you and whether or not you should become um, a partner and make this solution part of your standard offering for your customers. I know that's the decision that we have made. Uh, so anyway, enjoy the summit. And if you've got any questions about SAP Business One in the web, hosting, all those kinds of things, don't forget you can reach out to me, Richard at smbsolutions.com.au uh, or just search for Richard Duffy and SAP Business One on the web. You'll find me. I'm like a plague on the internet. Hope you, hope you found this video useful and look forward to talking with you again soon. Thanks.